Hello and welcome to race two of the uh, Clio Euro Series. This is still event one at Silverstone National. And uh, the Super Bowl qualifying for this one was a little bit uh, topsy turvy. We've got Gary Lennon on pole, he set a time very early on, followed by Adam Vaughan, Jesper Talborg in third, and Matt Clark in fourth, Chris Putcher in fifth, and uh, Van der Sturp in sixth, with uh, Ryan Cullen once again in uh, seventh position, and Adam Egbeer in eighth, Marcel Bonnet in ninth position, and Garcia in tenth place. Uh, race one winner Toby Davis was down at the back of the field after an incident in qualifying so uh, watch him come through the pack as Adam Vaughan uh, we watch him at the start as the lights go to green and uh, Vaughan gets a good getaway and so does Lennon and Matt Clark looks like he's coming up on Talborg as well for third position uh, Butcher not such a good start and Van der Stup follows him through so Lennon has got the cutback on Adam Vaughan he looks like he's going to make a move into Brooklyn for the first time um, and it looks like he's already made the move actually and uh, Clark in third place there's a car off in the background that looks like uh, either JJ Wang or um, Vicker and oh and there's contact here with uh, Nick Brook and Oakley and uh, Brook goes backwards I hope he didn't hit him oh he takes out Eric, was that Eric Plimmer and another car as well and uh, let's watch a replay of that so it's Ilovanov on the right and oh it looks like just they all squeeze each other and uh, no one's fault really it's racing it oh and it's Davis he takes out from the back of the grid and Eric Plimmer as well, so uh, oh, such a shame for those guys. I hope they can carry on, and uh, Nick Brook carries on as well as we look for, towards the front of the field. And it's Matt Clark ahead of us with Butcher as well. We're on board with Jesper Talborg, and there's Egwir in our rearview mirror as well with Brian Clan and Cullen. And uh, Clark up the inside of Butcher, and we were saying that all the way through race one. Butcher up the inside of Clark as well into the final corner. And Vaughan's still in second place as well, but Butcher's moved up into third position here. And uh, Clark, Clark on the outside. It looks like Butcher's got a slow exit for whatever reason. He's uh, dropped behind uh, Talborg and Van der Stuck takes him as well. Looks like uh, Butcher's got a bit of a, bit of a problem there because Eggbeer's going up the inside as well into Cops. And Vaughan now follows Lennon um, into Cops' corner for the second time. And Callan, uh, Matt Clark in third position. Uh, so Butcher, yes, he's dropped down into sixth place. And Vaughan's up the inside here into, uh, into Beckett's. And does he make the move stick? Yes, he does. But Lennon's going to cut him back here, I think. And uh, Vaughan runs slightly wide. And Tauberg's looking like he wants to make a move on Matt Clark as well at this stage of the race. As we uh, drop back through the field, and it's uh, Egbeer ahead of us. We're on board with Jorge Blasco making up for his race one escapades. And it looks like there's a there's Eric Plimmer, yeah, on the uh, on the left of us. And uh, Blasco's moved through. Um, past Adam Egbeer and that's Garcia I believe in front of them and now we cut back to Chris Butcher and Ben Davis they're battling for 6th and 7th position Butcher obviously with his with uh, whatever problem he's got and Ben Davis uh, following him and uh, looking like he wants to make a move actually into Beckett's and uh, does so holds the apex Butcher trying to cut back on Ben Davis there but uh, Davis was having none of that, although Butcher does look like he's got a better run, but obviously he has some kind of straight line speed problem at this stage. Norman Biscuits now and Jorge Blasco, and that looks like Matuszewski as well, um, having a ding-dong battle. And uh, indeed Blasco is going to go up the inside, and so does Tomash as well, makes the move stick. Uh, that's Kia Rocky as well, sniffing around in the background. Um, but yeah, indeed, it's uh, a great move there. Um, Matuszewski as well benefiting, so Clark and Talborg having a battle as well. Talborg following Matt Clark into the left hand of Brooklyn, Vaughan all over the back of Lennon as well and uh, looks like Talborg's made the ma move stick on Matt Clark there and managed up very close as well, the top five within a second at this stage of the race and uh, Talborg has got Matt Clark still all over the back of him and Vaughan is having a look at Lennon, Clark's having a look at uh, Talborg into turn one, we're going to follow Vaughan through, I wonder if uh, Clark made the move stick, we look at the rearview mirror of uh, Vaughan's car and it looks like he hasn't, Talborg's still in third and Vaughan's got to run on Gary Lennon here into Beckett's, is he going to make the move stick, he's on the left hand side, not the inside line, but he may be able to cut back if Lennon misses the apex, which he has done. And Vaughan's going to take the lead here as they go onto the National Strait or the Wellington Strait, whichever you prefer. And uh, Clark did not make the move stick on Talborg, so Lennon relegated to second. Talborg's still in third as we go back to uh, Garcia and Egbeer once again. And uh, Egbeer in his uh, orange car, very, very noticeable, uh, is uh, ahead of Garcia at this stage. And he's up the inside and he looks like he's going to make... Oh, that's very close indeed. Garcia on the outside of the... 
of the uh, right-hander there at Beckett's, and he's going to actually get an overlap as they head towards Brooklyn's once again. So uh, an excellent run into the pit straight there for, uh, for Garcia. Uh, Blasco sniffing around as well in the background. And uh, Garcia, yeah, he's definitely made the move stick there on Egbeer, and he's looking at Marcel Bonnet, I believe, as well for the, uh, for the next place. And Matt Clark having it once again up the inside of Talborg. And is he going to make this one stick? We saw him bouncing over the curbs earlier on. They're all on three wheels through the left hand and smoke everywhere. And Clark makes the move stick. Uh, Vaughn's run a little bit wide across the cones and taken them out. And look at the tyre smoke as they squeal through the final corner. And now they're three wide. Egbeer, Garcia and Blasco involved. And Bonnet. And uh, Matuszewski as well getting involved. So all five of them look like that. And Blasco on, and Garcia's bumped him a little bit out of the way. And they're going to go three wide down the National Straight, perhaps. It looks like they're going to actually filter in uh, one by one and uh, get in each other's draft. And Matuszewski is looking up the inside of Garcia and Egbier looking up the inside of Matuszewski. is never going to work. All three of them. And Egbier has benefited from Matuszewski gets into the side of Garcia, but he's okay. There's nothing really untoward there. Garcia carries on fine. And uh, Garcia still behind Bonnet, but uh, Egbier behind him now. And here's Blasco and uh, Kia Rocky. So Blasco has been caught by Kia Rocky. So it's going to be a six way battle in a minute, I should think. Kia Rocky on the right hand side. Blasco on the inside for the corner. And they both trying to have a look at Matuszewski. And Kia Rocky goes up the inside of Matuszewski. A little bit of a nudge out of the way. And Blasco's going to benefit as well and goes through by Tomash uh, into the right hander. He's still on the outside, but he cuts across and just about got the overlap done. And he's on the inside. Well, oh, he's not going to get the run actually on there. Uh, Kiaroki as they come into Beckett's once again. This is lap 10 now of 23 and uh, Kiaroki still following Egbeer and Blasco behind and uh, Matuszewski has got shuffled down a little bit now and uh, Bonnet in front of them and Egbeer is on the inside and he's being drafted by Blasco and Kiaroki on the right hand side on the outside line and Blasco has gone into Egbeer and they're both sideways full throttle and uh, trying to get the car back round Eggbeer does so. I wonder what happened to Blasco. He was turned around in race one, remember? Let's have a look at the replay, see what happened to these guys. So uh, Blasco makes a lunge at Eggbeer. I think this is probably going to be Blasco getting it to the side of Eggbeer. It is indeed. And Kiaroki, does he turn him around? Oh, and a huge smash from Matuszewski into the back or the side of uh, Blasco there. And uh, it's not the first incident, incident that Blasco's had there, in fact. And here's uh, Matt Clark on Gary Lennon. Um, this is for third, second position, sorry, and uh, Clark's up the inside of Gary into the left-hander of Brooklyn and looks like he's made that one stick as well. So Matt Clark moves into second position. Uh, Vaughan on three wheels, bouncing up and down through the final corner. Uh, smoke everywhere once again and Lennon with his Dr Pepper car looks like he wants to make the move back on Matt Clark as soon as possible. We cut back to the Egg Beer Blasco and uh, now the damaged Matuszewski battle. They're going to be joined in a minute by the uh, green and white car behind them. And uh, Blasco moves up in front of Eggbeer. And uh, they're following, still following Matuszewski. So uh, Matuszewski's got ahead of him, I believe, at some point. And uh, this is the 16th place for Chris Butcher. He really does have a straight line speed. He's following uh, Alexandra uh, Borode there. And he's going to uh, cut up the inside of Borode. And also, that's Wukash Demelin as well, I believe. And uh, Butcher definitely made that one stick and he took two positions in one turn. And Matuszewski is now on Kia Rocky, who has gone in front of the pack. This is for, I believe, ninth position. And, uh, and that's Blasco going around the outside of Tomasz Matuszewski and making that one stick. And he's now behind Anthony Kia Rocky. And uh, oh, and Matuszewski gets in the back of Blasco, but uh, Blasco actually manages to get through by Kia Rocky as a result of that. So uh, he won't mind too much. Matuszewski now got a run on Kia Rocky as well uh, th as they head through Woodcut and now we're on lap 14. Gary Lennon following Matt Clark who managed to make that move earlier. Yes, but Talborg as well is still there. Van der Stuck dropped back a little bit. He's in fifth place. I believe uh, Ben Davis is in sixth. At present, Lennon up the inside of Clark. That was a late dive from Lennon on three wheels. The inside rear wheel locked and uh, Lennon moves back into second place and Clark trying to make, a way, make his way up the inside but no way through there and Jesper for FDR sniffing around and here in fact is Jesper Talborg we're looking at him now lap 15 following Matt Clark Matt Clark runs a little bit wide onto the dirty uh, asphalt and uh, Talborg 
Well, he hasn't really got a run on either of them. In fact, if anything, Matt Clark's on the outside of Gary Lennon as they head through the right-hander at Beckett. And Talbot, oh, he's going to go up the inside here of Matt Clark and he might actually make it three wide down the National Straight. And he is going to. Lennon on the left. Matt Clark in the middle. He's going to be squeezed out here. And uh, that's uh, Jesper Talborg on the, on the right. Still following Adam Vaughan, who hasn't really got them that much at this stage. He's just playing it safe, looking after his tyres. And Lennon's back into second place. And Matt Clark having a go at Jesper Talborg as well, who's holding the inside line. Matt Clark goes wide, trying to get uh, a bit of a cutback, a bit of a run down the main straight into turn one, I sh should imagine. Here's the recovering Chris Butcher. He's behind Ferreira for... Waterloo Racing, who's uh, completely missed his breaking point, and is there going to be contact there? It's very close indeed. Uh, Bruno Salza Ferreira, very uh, sideways, but he managed to hold on to that one. Back with Matt Clark then, and he's behind Jesper Talborg now, so it's Vaughan from Lennon, and it's no longer Talborg in third, it's now Matt Clark. It looks like he's made that one stick, and Van der Stupp actually catching these guys once again, so all their battling is allowing that to happen. And you can see all, all of the top five in one shot there. I believe that's uh, Ben Davis in sixth place as well. And uh, Lennon on the inside of Matt Clark is going to try and go around the outside. Bit of contact, bit of panel bashing. Both still have their wing mirrors intact. And Talborg trying to go around the outside. Clark having none of that. Clark's got a bit of damage to the front of his car actually. A bit of a dent perhaps. And uh, yeah, Talborg is in fourth place now. And Van der Stupp looked right on the back of these guys. And uh, Lennon still on there. Lennon's gone very wide indeed. It's going to make him slow as they come into Beckett's. And Matt Clark's been taking advantage of that. And Talborg as well is looking up the inside. And he's going to make the move stick as well on Lennon. Excellent move there from Talborg. Excellent predatory uh, behaviour. Although Clark's run a little bit wide. And Van der Stump looks got to run as well. And they're going to make this three wide once again. As they head down the National Straight. And it's a little bit of contact. A little bit of shuffling. There is Van Stur, and he's trying to follow these guys through and he's going to try and make a move up the inside of Jesper Talborg. He's been waiting for this actually, all race Van der Stur. But Talborg having none of that. Lennon on the inside of uh, Jesper Talborg. Panel bashing and uh, action everywhere. And uh, Lennon back through into third place. He cuts across the front of Talborg who is going to try and make a move up the inside perhaps as we uh, cut back to Kier Rocky and Blasco. This is uh, Blasco in 10th position and uh, Anthony Kierrocki following um, in bu uh, both him and Matuszewski who's got a little bit of damage remember and uh, Blasco makes a move on Matuszewski a very late dive from Kierrocki he's actually going to make this one stick a bit of bit of rubbing and a bit of pushing and shoving but he makes the way uh, makes his way through Kierrocki uh, gaining gaining position on Blasco as well it looked like to me Egby are following Butcher now, so this is for 15th and 16th. Remember, these guys were further at, further at the field in race one, so uh, various incidences of uh, incidents have caused them to drop down the field. <laughs> and Egby have rubbed the side of Chris Butcher as he makes the move into Cop's corner, and that looked like Ryan Cullen in the background. Wonder what happened to him? Maybe he had a uh, a penalty or a drop, or a bit of a mistake at some point. And Talborg following Matt Clark, who is following Gary, Gary Lennon once again. This is all for second place. And now Adam Vaughan has made his break. You can see Vaughan. Oh, and Clark's been hit, and and Talborg as well, as uh, spun. So uh, let's have a look, quick look at the replay. I was watching Adam Vaughan at that stage. Bit of a tap from Clark. Jesper's on the... And Clark looks like he's lost it all by himself there, you know, and takes out uh, Talborg at the same time. A bit hard to tell from that angle. Um, but indeed, Talborg drops through the pack, and that looks like it's Ben Davis trying to take advantage. But Vaughan comes through to win the second race at Silverstone National, the second race of the year, second race of the season in the Clio Euro Series. Great result for him, great result for THR. Two wins for them. So Vaughan takes the victory from Gary Lennon eventually. Van der Sturp managed to get through thanks to Clark and Talborg maybe tangling. Ben Davis, an excellent drive to sixth place. Garcia in seventh, Marcel Bonnet in eighth, getting ahead of Blasco and Matuszewski after their epic battle earlier on. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you at the next round in a uh, couple of weeks' time. That's at Tobin. So uh, thanks for watching. Until then, until then.